Hi YouTube, it's 19 Gecko Gal. Um, I decided I got hides for my um, for my corns in the mail the other day, and it made their little six quart tubs a little crowded because they got their bowl in there, and there's the hide that I ordered. It takes up that space, and then there's their bowl because they need their moisture, and they're getting long and there's their rock to help shedding and a little paper towel roll. I don't know if you can see that there. So I decided I wanted to upgrade them. First I was going to get a 28 quart. Then I was like, no, nah, I think that's just going maybe too far, too fast for them at one time. So I just decided to go ahead and get them a 15 quart tub. So I just thought I'd do a quick video of... Um, switching them over and letting you all see also how they've grown the two corns um, these are the 15 gallon the 15 quart um, sterilites I also before I put the bedding in that's aspen bedding I um, I also ordered this uh, preventamite uh, the snakes don't have mites but um, I have been using some knit this right here um, this red um, it has uh, the active ingredient is Permian or something like that. Um, I've got a spray that my dog that I put on my dog that I get from the um, tractor supply that has that ingredient in it. But and I was putting it on paper towel and wiping them down. But I decided just to go ahead and order it. But anyway, so I put some in there and put um, let it dry. Um, I watched a video. For triple L reptile, and it said put it in, fog it with the bedding already in it, close it, and shake it. But that was for if you already had mites. Um, the residual for the, the preventive uh, mite is supposed to um, supposed to be active. So you know, if anything, if they get mites or whatever, it's already in there. So, but they don't have mites, so that's fine. First, I'm gonna do my little boy. Everybody knows Mr. Bojangles. He's gotten pretty big. He's gotten long. He's a sweet snake. He, they both just shed last week, both of them. So, yep. Yeah. So, and they both ate. I don't know if he's used the bathroom yet, but he should like this. Um, they're so inquisitive, both of them. So they should like this uh, having more space. I wanted to get something higher too because I really wanted them to have something to to um, climb on. So whenever I do go up, I'm going to make sure I get something higher. So it won't be a 28 going this way, but it'll be something that's going up also so I can put some branches in there. Um, some branches in there so they can also... Um, climb because they do enjoy climbing that I know and they're good at it too so that's him one down one to go he's enjoying it already I can tell so oh I might want to put this house on this side put his little hide over there and for snowflake snowflake's a little spaz um, she's not quite as handleable as he is she's already used the bathroom that's good twice Ooh. Um, so she's in her she's using her hide She's a pretty girl too. Come on, Snowflake. I got a bigger house for you. You're gonna love this. Come on. She's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me go. There's Snowflake. See how she spazzes a little bit there. She's a little tense. But she um 
She's got some nice yellows coming in on her. I don't, I don't know what that's coming from, but they're pretty. So, she's got kind of a, I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but um, she's got like some, some yellow going around that pink. It's like outlining the pink. It's pretty. Um, I guess it kind of like came with that last shed. So, you want to go down there? This is your new home. Boy, they hit, she, boy, she has a tight grip. That is beautiful. Wow. See, she just got that. That just came in. Or I just know I'm just noticing it. Maybe with all this natural light we have. So that's their new home. So nothing spectacular, but just thought someone might like to see how um, they've grown over the last couple of months and their upgrade. Thanks for watching.